Hey you guys, welcome back to My Table 3. My name is Carrie and I am a work at home, homeschooling mama of one beautiful, handsome, nine-year-old boy. And today I'm going to share with all of you how I work at home and manage my day and homeschool life. So let's grab coffee and let's have a chat about how I work at okay, home. Okay guys, welcome to my corner of the dining room where I sit on our daily basis to homeschool, to edit my YouTube videos, and also to write my blog post over at mytable3.com. So if you do not know, I also blog about um, low-carb, gluten-free, and sugar-free recipes. Also book reviews because I am a Book a bookworm on a journey to get healthy and lose weight. So, all the recipes you see on this channel, uh, most of them are also on my blog, and I'll link that below. Please uh, hop over and take a look. Search in the recipe um, index for any kind of those sugar-free, low-carb, trim, healthy, mama-friendly recipes, and check out those book reviews. So today we're not going to talk about the blog. Today we are going to talk about my life as a working, full-time working homeschool mom. So, I've had some questions about how I work at home and how I manage everything, which, you guys, I barely manage everything, but we are making it, so I'll learn more as I go, just as every mom does with any, and sorry if it's too close up, but, um, so, in the past, before I got married and had my son, I worked full time for Walmart. Um, for Walmart, I started out in high school when I was 16 or 17 as an hourly employee after school in my high school years, and then I graduated, went to college, came back to Walmart as an hourly associate with a degree and on a mission to move up. So I did so throughout my um, 17 years with Walmart. Yeah, 17 years. I was able to move up and um, in through the store level and became assistant manager and was an assistant manager for three or four years, um, mostly in Mississippi. And I did my training in Arkansas, but mostly in Mississippi. And then in Jane, Missouri, I helped um, do a ground up new super center there which was huge and fun and a lot of work and a great experience. And after that, I went to the Walmart home office and worked as uh, in the buying department as a buying assistant for bedding and um, sheets and things like that. And then when I met my husband, we got married. We moved to um, where we live now, and I was able to transfer from Walmart home office to one of the Walmart distribution centers there, at, also as a buyer's assistant, but just moving from bedding to produce. So I did that for four or five, I think I did that for three or four years after we were married and then Walmart we had a big company layoff in our uh, department that I work for in the produce DC level. So uh, we got laid off. So from that point on I was able to, I think Nathan was, I think he was, see he's born in 08. He was almost two years old I believe maybe 15 or 16 months old when I got laid off which was a blessing because we were already talking about me staying home because um, my husband owns his own business and he works from home and always has for since I've known him and been married so now close to 16 18 years he's worked for himself in this business so uh, we were lucky enough that Nate never had to go to daycare he stayed home with Anthony and Anthony took care of him while I worked and then in the afternoons I would get off and come home and Anthony would work and I would take care of Nate Anthony's always been a fantastic dad and a fantastic help to me and I'm so grateful to have someone so helpful so after I was laid off I was able to stay home for many years and then we decided to homeschool um, as a couple, and so we started homeschooling Nate in preschool. We've been homeschooling him now all the way through. We're in third grade, almost about to finish up his third grade curriculum in probably about a month or so, and then fourth grade, which blows my mind. So that brings me back to, I don't want to get off on too many tangents or this video will be really long, but... Um, I would say since my husband works at home, he has seasons throughout his business and has the whole time he's had this business where sometimes it's slower uh, than others just the nature of the beast he does marketing and a lot of his marketing is generated um, to real estate agents and real estate so it fluctuates throughout the year depending on the season and demands and stuff like that so um, there are times when I work I have worked um, a couple of off and on jobs seasonal through um, 
local companies that do seasonal help through Christmas and different things like that to work and help bring in income and support our family all while homeschooling. Um, we homeschool year round, so that makes it flexible. We don't have to uh, worry about finishing up curriculum by a certain date because we go year round. So we have it set up to where we we're on a few weeks and then we take a week off, or we can take um, days off. Like we only homeschool four days a week, so um, that helps and it makes it more flexible. So we don't have to worry about missing a day here and there or only doing a part of our work this year and then doubling up another day. So long story short, it's flexible and that's how I'm able to work. So I have worked a little bit here and there part time along the way. More recently, I worked in a real estate office as a front day desk secretary. And I may have mentioned that here before. I worked 21 hours a week, eight hour days, Wednesday through Friday, but that was really hard um, getting our homeschool lessons in because that put me here only two days a week during the week um, to homeschool and Anthony was having to do it and work those other three days. So it was hard on us. And so after about 10 months, I was blessed with my new current job and I am now working for Hilton uh, Hotels and Resort as a work at home reservation agent. And so I'm going to tell you about that and how I came about that job. Uh, in just a minute and let's move on. I want to make sure I'm following my notes like I said so I don't get out on a rampage or take you guys 20 minutes to hear what you're looking for and that's how you can find work at home jobs. So let me just get right into that at, at my okay. new job and my camera. I'm sorry if it's not. So my, cam uh, my new job like I said is I uh, work for Hilton Hotels and Resort as a work at home uh, customer service agent and basically what that means is I work at home from my home office which I'll show you in just a bit and I just take phone calls from their guests let me shoot up and I help them reserve reservations for hotels and resorts that Hilton owns. Hilton owns 14 different brands so I get calls from all their brands like Doubletree, Embassy Suites, things like that and it's basically just being an advocate for the, com uh, for the customer and helping those guests find their needs for their vacations and things like that. So it was a, a, a huge adaption for me to go from um, working outside of the house to inside the house. I had been wanting to do it for so long, but it took me 10 months uh, of working outside of the house to find something uh, that I could do at home. And so I am so blessed and I'm going to show you now how I found that job. So if you are a mom looking for ways um, to make more money, to help with income in your family, perhaps you can check out these sites and also do the same. One moment. So the first um, site I will talk about is apen.com. And apen does a lot of social media work. And basically what they do I haven't done any work for Apen. I did get a job offer, but I ended up not taking it because I joined Hilton. But um, they offer several different campaigns throughout the year, month even. And uh, most of them are um, part-time jobs, and you just go in, and they'll explain what you do. Sometimes they're looking for people that speak different languages. Some people, sometimes they're wanting people to go in and just go on Instagram, look at the ads, and do research like that. So Apen is A-P-P-E-N. Dot com. You can check them out. They're also on Facebook. They post job openings all the time. I think you have to set up an account. If I remember, it's been so long. You set up an account and a profile and put in your interests and your skills and maybe upload a resume. And then when they have jobs come open, they send them out to you and you can apply and go from there. Now, another site, and this is a site that I actually um, found my Hilton work at home job for, is a Facebook site and it's Rat Race. Yes, R A T. Race, R-A-C-E, Rebellion. And so just look up Rat Race Rebellion on Facebook and like that page. You might want to put it in your favorites or your first to see so that it doesn't get filtered out of your feed. But they post all kinds of jobs. They do um, work at home, uh, phone work, chat. Uh, I've seen them post Apple for Apple. Um, Hyatt Hotels hires, hires a lot. Hilton, they share Hilton. And Rat Race is not um, the companies that are actually hiring the people. They are a company that filters work at home jobs to weed out all the spam and all the um, bad ones. Because, guys, there are a lot of scams out there when it comes to working at home. So be very careful if you are searching for home. I've seen a lot of people get burned and they talk about it on Rat Race. 
the rat race are, are they are two people that are devoted to helping moms like me and you and uh, even uh, gentlemen find jobs that they can work at home and take care of their family life while bringing the income in so they are vetted they vet these jobs and they only share tried and true real jobs so check out that rat race rebellion keep an eye on it if you're looking for jobs uh, they say you have to apply a lot sometimes to get the jobs because work at home jobs are so in demand However, I was really lucky. I applied for a couple, and I got contacted by Hilton. Um, I would say it was my first time to apply for Hilton. I got contacted a few days after I applied. I had a video interview, uh, which is a little bit different because they do a video conference uh, interview for the first one. You're not even talking to anybody live. Um, the computer, you do a test, and it pops up questions and different scenarios, and you answer it like you're face-to-face -face with a uh, interviewee so that they even want you to dress professional have good lighting and go for it so that was a little bit nerve-wracking but I managed to make it through to my second interview which was a um, phone interview with an actual lady she was very nice so far everyone I've worked with at Hilton are amazing uh, super nice super helpful even the employees are real helpful so I would highly encourage you that if you see Hilton uh, jobs come up on that rat race if you're not opposed to taking phone calls um, during the business in season one right after the other and talking to people helping them find rooms then apply and please if you'd like to use me as a reference you can go ahead just let me know and um, I'll be glad to uh, pass the word along if they hire right now we are in the busy season so I don't think Hilton will be hiring anymore this busy season but I think they go back to hiring again in November or December so if I see that come open, I'll try and remind you guys here. So, Apen.com and Rat Race Rebellion, those are two sites that I think you guys should keep an eye on if you're looking for extra income or ways to work at home. The next thing I will do is tell you how I manage my, excuse me, my um, work and my homeschool. But first, I'm going to grab some more coffee and then we'll go into that. Okay, so before I stop to get coffee, um, I was going to tell you how I go about managing my day. Uh, as far as homeschooling and taking care of my duties like dinner and different things like that um, that I have as a mom and so I'll just start out by saying it can be overwhelming uh, it's something that I am learning to balance so I am by no means an expert I just wanted to share how I do it in case there's somebody out there like me that's going through a transition into um, a full-time working mom as well as homeschooling and also to encourage those of you that um, need to work and are scared that you can't homeschool uh, that you can um, so it can be overwhelming but it can be done especially with God's grace and with some little determination and support which I have excellent support from my husband and I'm so thankful like I said before for him so to start out we homeschool Monday through Thursday we do take off Fridays because, again, we school year-round, so that allows us to have a lot of flexibility in our curriculum and in getting our um, amount of school um, days in. Now, I will say in the state that we live in, Arkansas, there are no restrictions or no um, heavy, like, things that we have to follow. So, um, basically, we just send in a, um, a, a paper called a, um, oh, my mind went blank. Oh, an intent form, which this is an intent to homeschool. Uh, we don't have to get it okayed. It's not getting their approval. It's just letting you know, hey, my son is a homeschooler. Uh, we're in this school district, and he's going to be schooled at home, so don't look for him in the school. So th then we send that in electronically to the state of Arkansas, the Department of Education. They document it, and then they send that to the superintendent in our school district, and that way it is documented that Nathan is indeed in school and registered and just taking lessons at home. So, super easy. We're grateful for the state that we live in and the freedom to homeschool our child, but that doesn't mean that we get laxed. I like to use a curriculum from Alpha and Omega called Life Packs. I feel like they, we've used them for the first, for preschool, we just use bits and pieces here and there. But ever since um, kindergarten, actually more like first grade, uh, we really got into the uh, Alpha and Omega life packs. And so Alpha and Omega, I love the way that they um, structure, you know, their curriculum. My son has learned a lot. He does very well with Alpha and Omega. So I buy the curriculum from them for all his subjects and it helps me lay out in my um, school planner 
what days he'll be doing what subjects and what days he'll be doing what pages. That way, if my husband does have to jump in, if I'm working extra time or if I need a little break, he can follow my planner, my happy planner, and get everything done uh, that needs to be done for that day. So we are strict. We do school every, all four days. We don't miss. If we do have to take one of those four days of school off, we then do school on Fridays and some weekends. We've had to school on weekends because we have busy weekdays. So we do make sure while we're um, homeschooling that he does get in his education. He does get in all his ex extracurricular activities through groups and our huge homeschool group and music class. So he's good for that. The biggest part is mom learning to balance her life. So what we do is I usually get up. I've been getting up about 6, 5.30 or 6. I get up. I have coffee. Um, the good thing about Hilton is I am able to work my eight-hour shift, but I can split it up like I want to. I can do four hours early in the morning and then four hours later in the night. Or you can do three hours in the morning, two hours in the middle of the day, and then three hours later that night. So up to three different splits, which is amazing for people like me that need to homeschool during the day. So my typical schedule looks like I get up, I have some mom time, maybe read the Bible, drink my coffee, and then I go to work from about 7 uh, to 11 or 12, and then I get off, I fix lunch, we eat. My husband has my son, by the way, during all this time here at the house. We eat lunch, and then we jump right into homeschooling, and I typically go back to work about 3.30 or 4 and work another three hours. Um, in that three-hour period, we do our schoolwork. I prep lunch as Nate's doing his reading, uh, his self-reading. I prep dinner, I mean, and then that way dinner is ready for my uh, husband and son while I go back to work and work my shift. Um, and so it works out for us. It can get a little hectic. Uh, like I said, but I'm still learning how to balance the full-time work. But I did decide to go from part-time to full-time because of the health benefits. We did not have um, health benefits for the last few years. Um, so we were out of pocket every time we had to go to the doctor and things like that for everything. But thankfully, with this Hilton job and me working full-time, we will be able to um, get those resources to help with income and, start, I mean, help with medical expenses and things like that if we do need it we don't go to the doctor very often but it's always good to have that just in case and we've been without it so that's why i went from part-time to full-time to help with that because self-employed families um, insurance can be pretty expensive and hard to afford so that's why i did that a little inside so i get up early i do my a little shift i do schooling and um, laundry and things like that in that three hour three to four hour window and then that night I go back and work two to three hours, uh, which is a simple, easy shift. I just sit at my desk, take call after another, and then after that I get off and it's family time. We um, watch our favorite YouTube videos together, or we um, read, or we play a board game, or things like that, just to spend time together as a family. And so that is how I manage my day, and sometimes I will prep breakfast for the next morning if I have time, but not mostly it's on the go whatever we have in the fridge or whatever I've prepped for the week. So that is my work at home mom, homeschooling mom, day in a glance. If you need more details or if you'd like to ask me any questions, do so in the comments below and I'll be glad to ask. I'll be glad to answer if I can. So the other thing I do while I'm balancing that is I also told you earlier I blog. So I um, do my blog work to keep it up. It is basically a part-time job for me. So um, I do balance my recipe creation, photo, and all my sponsored posts and sponsored jobs on my off days, which are typically two days a week, Tuesday and Friday. They are. I pick my own off days. So that's another great thing about my job. Um, so on those two days, I do a lot of work for the blog, I schedule, I do all that, and so that's how I manage that in between my household chores and family time on my off days. So, and somewhere in between there, I throw in grocery trips, which by the week, by the way, I'll have one later this week for you guys here on the video. I haven't done one in a while. I'll have one here on YouTube, a video. Um, so look forward to that if you're interested in grocery hauls. So right before I end the video, I'm going to take you in and show you... <clears throat> the room that I use for my uh, mom room, which is basically my work room for the blog, crafts, and where I keep all our school things, and where my work at home desk is. So let's jump in and see that. Um, see what it looks like. All right, so we're just going to go in and see my makeshift office. It is just our third bedroom in our house. As you can see, 
catches a lot of my craft stuff. This is the ice cream maker. It broke. The lid did, but it still works. But I got it in here for now until you can see my son had some Lego time and didn't put his Legos up. That's my new sewing machine I need to get out and start working on. You can see we had school posters because when we first started homeschooling, I had this grand idea that we would use this room for all the homeschooling. And we did probably preschool year, maybe some of kindergarten, and then it turned into this mom's slash creative. There's my ice chest that I use if you'll focus, maybe not. I don't know. For grocery, this is my scrapbooking. This is an old piano that was my nephew's, who is now 13, and then passed down to Nathan. It's uh, seen better days, but I can't seem to part with it. And then these are some pants that I need to patch and uh, fix the hems on for my husband. So basically, this is my blogging cabinet where I keep all my dishes and things like that that I use in my photo shoots, my tripod for filming, my more... This is cake decorating, and then the bottom are um, crafts and things for school. This is just um, a bag that I carry back and forth to my mother-in-law because I love the lighting in her in her um, <laughs> her sunroom. So this is all some sponsored products that I've been shooting um, pictures and videos of. You'll see that if you haven't already from Time and Table. Um, so this is just my easy throw it all in, take it with me to her sunroom. There's my Cincy. This is just a stack of, um, <laughs> these are things that, we, keepsakes that we've kept, kept along the years. We need to sort those better. And then here's what you've all been waiting for. The reason I brought you in is my workstation. There's our man in the map. I need to move that into where we do our school now. But this is just my desk. Can I move the chair all the way? Where I do my work for Hilton um, Customer Service and Reservations, they provided the keyboard and all the the, that is actually a computer, you guys. It's called a Nook, and they sent that to us when you get hired. And so, they send you that, the mouse, the keyboard, and um, a headset. You can see that I wear um, when I take my calls. And the monitor we provided, my son helped me decorate it up. Hilton HRCC, that is the department I work for. So, he helped me use those stickers. <laughs> All these are mental notes for me to remember as I take my calls where to find the information, what things that are important to remember to say to our callers. More notes on our bookshelf, and of course there is my pitiful bookshelf that needs reorganizing so bad. But that's another day and another video. So here's where I do my Brianna Thomas. Shout out to Brianna Thomas. That's her food calendar. I use that for my schedules that we make weekly. I put it on there so that I can then put it on my homeschool um, planner so I can see daily what I work, when I'm off, and when I'll be able to do homeschool that day so I can prep Nate and Anthony to have him ready. Okay, so, and this is just more homeschooling things. Uh, old flashcards from kindergarten and preschool and uh, older curriculum that we finished and I put in there, for, which also needs to be reorganized, but that's that. So here's where all the job for Hilton happens. Uh, nothing fancy, just the office. If you do work from home, just have a quiet space because I can just shut this door and it's really quiet out there. And I don't hear the dogs. I don't hear the kiddos. Anthony takes care of kiddos. If I haven't said it already, my husband does work for, owns his own business and works for home, so that's great. But this is just a, where I sit. Um, eight hours a day, a few days during the week. Actually, five days during the week, but I do split my hours. Like, I talked about that earlier, how I split it. So, I won't go into that again. But, yeah, that's where it happened. So, that is that. Let's go back in here and I'll wrap it up. And that was that, guys. Just a simple room uh, that I have uh, in the house that we weren't using, that we started off using at school. And now it is my home office slash craft slash blog slash catch-all room. So, that works out for us. It's a great way for me to be able to have a little bit of peace and quiet while I am working and it doesn't disrupt my calls. So, nothing fancy, guys. And, um, again, before I close, let me just encourage you, if you are in a season like I am of life where you have to work and be, um, help, um, support your family, uh, which we love to do, uh, let me encourage you to check out those sites that I mentioned in the first of this video and I'll put the links to both of them below in the description. Uh, don't be discouraged. Just, you know, just put your head down, pray about it, and you'll be fine. I wish you all the luck if you are looking for a work-for-home job. 
um, yeah, I know it can be stressful, and, um, yeah, but it is a time of life, and it's season of life, so this too shall pass, is what they say, so I'm looking forward to one day in the future, maybe just going back down to part-time with Hilton, but for now, uh, it is a blessing to have this job that I can work at home, and when I'm on break or lunch, I can come out and interact with my family, and still, Nathan has never had to go to daycare or public school. Not that we have any problem with that. It's just not what we want for our family. So it works for me. And if it's something you're looking for, I wish you the best of luck at it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do work for home or if you're looking for work for home jobs. And as always, guys, thanks so much for joining me today at this video. If you're new here, please give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell if you'd like to see more. Mostly I post about recipes and cooking and prep and different things like that, but I will be branching out in the future to talk about a few different things, so I would love to have you come along with me, and now I'm going to stop rambling, maybe I've had too much of this, but I'm going to stop rambling guys, and just get out of here, and um, spend some time with my little guy, because I am off today, and thank you again for watching, and for putting up with this rambling, I'll see you guys next time on the next video.